right? We're Japanese. It surely has to be noted that the artwork for the Grand Theft Auto series has entered the public consciousness in a way, a way that no other game has. The iconic segmented block showing off key moments and characters that you're set to encounter creates this really clever eye-catching collage that, that gives you the same kind of open-ended choice that the actual game does. So you know how in the game you're like, oh, I might do a mission, or I might commit genocide, or I might have a round of golf. Well here you can go, oh, I might have a look at this motorbike, or I might have a look at this boat, or I might have a look at this Eamon Holmes. Clever stuff. Now, here's a box art no one else is going to be talking about. It's the European Harvest Moon art, and just, like, look at it. It's like, it's beautiful, it's like an Andrew Wyeth. I always remember seeing this and just being really shocked because it, it looked like no other Game Boy game on the shelf, but it, it's just... You know, see if they said, look, here, boys, we've uh, we found a new Andrew Wyeth. Um, turns out that he did a cover for a Game Boy Color version of Harvest Moon. People people would spend millions on this. And they should, because look at it. So it's amazing. You know what it does? It just, all right, the, the American art and the Japanese art is more akin to the actual look of a Harvest Moon game. But this one just nails how a Harvest Moon game makes you feel. You know, it's the end of a hard day, all your vegetables have been planted, you've milked your cows, now you and your wee doggy boy are just, you're heading home for a nice wee sleep. A forest depicting the rural feel, the red symbolising horror, and of course, Dr Salvador himself, bag on his head like your mum always should have, standing, chainsaw in hand, waiting, who knows for how long, probably missed his tea, hungry, pissed off, and when you turn up, he's coming for your head. You know. Every time I look at this cover, I forget he's there, right? And I get a wee fright. I get a wee fright, exactly like in that moment where you hear that fucking chainsaw and you just start to go, oh, where is he? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, Eco. Just look at this cover. Obviously, as we all know, America got royally fucked over here. And what I see clearly as being karma for the Iraq war. But Europe got something so beautiful, so unlike anything else ever committed to the cover of a game. And look, okay, you can't say it's completely representative of what happens in the game, but it perfectly conveys how it makes you feel. Lost, alone, with, with only each other to- Moira, he's crying at video games again. I'm not, I'm not, right? Look, look it's my hay fever. Okay, I, I've got the same condition as GCB Cudgeon. Oh, don't fuck off, give me a minute. Who are the masters of box art? Well, as with every question in gaming, the answer is Nintendo! With big, bright, beautiful, populist pieces to, to stripped back classics, there's, there's honestly nothing to say here. I, I'm speechless, I have no analysis, I have nothing to say other than they are perfect. But you know what, like, man, Mum will get together, right? Mum, Mum will, will raid the Louvre, the Louvre, the, the Louvre roll, and we'll, we'll get all that shit off the walls like the Mona Lisa, right? And we'll redecorate with these lovely Nintendo covers. Oh, so much better. <laughs>